MC Olomo ties not with another woman who is not a he a Weibo, who everybody knows that he is dating. Hi guys, you're watching M Chicky series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this gist. Also, hit that red subscribe button. That way, you get our latest updates. So it has been buzzing all over social media that MC Oluomo has left his girlfriend everybody knows who is a web or the interior designer which they've come out to publicize all over social media a couple of months ago to marry his american-based lover <laughs> so according to the story these two have been together for quite some time now even before a he of sayavet that she is the one responsible for all oluomo's five children in america she helped in the accommodation she helped oluomo self on top citizenship level that the lady divorced her husband with three kids and allegedly lied that her husband is dead just to be with mc oluomo boss <laughs> the man really hot though this one all women are dying to have him now wow this one abroad she also wants to have him i learned women like sticking around him because he knows how to spread them with money that's what they said currently her three kids are bearing akinsanya which is the son name of mc olomo and she changed her name completely allegedly that as it is now she came to nigeria to celebrate her father's burial and in the process she and mc olomo tied the knot in a secret wedding of not more than 50 gates in ebutemeta <laughs> wahala deo even the person where write this story self he can talk say as it is now they don't cook up one story go give a he and baba has promised a he now she get a mo and every weekend na a house now say this one go soon go back abroad so if you na define mc for weekend na he house make you na go mc has 19 children all together now including the ones we don't know <laughs> that the man has been together with the woman for about 13 years based on the comments i'm seeing here i believe that people never saw this coming i don't know whether he saw it coming because early this year that was when they started showcasing their relationship all over internet People have been speculating, but the first time the video hit the internet was when they went to Turkey. And after that, she felt, okay, let her show the world, the relationship. But immediately she posted the picture of her and the man who came for her saying that she is going out with an Agboro because the man is the head of the Agboros in Lagos. That didn't stop her. People also went further to say that it was the man who bankrolled her. She gifted herself a mansion on her 35th birthday. So people came for her saying that the man is the person bankrolled controlling her which eventually came out to the bank if you as a man have ever bankrolled any and you don't talk as much as i'm betting a hundred thousand dollars if you're a man and you claim that you've ever bankrolled me in any way or you spent one naira in my business you spent one naira building my house i built my house myself that's hard work darlings the thing is that you cannot force anybody to marry you in as much as she might even like him to marry her because lately she has been posting a lot of videos a lot of their outing on her social media which i think she has deleted right now and if a man doesn't like you you cannot force the man to marry you no matter how you showcase the love no matter how you post your videos no matter whatever you do on social media that's the reason why if you're in a relationship that you might want to lead to marriage you find a way to hide it from public eye because why everybody is reacting now is because their relationship has been out on social media she has been flaunting the relationship she might even be dating this man not necessarily for marriage but maybe for business for contracts because there are some people who date people just for the connection not necessarily because the person gives them money 
or because the person will marry them but because there are some connections the person has got serious connections like this man that fronting for some of these politicians in lagos so maybe she's clinging on to him to get some connection and make no mistake this lady has married twice and she married to rich people which also she got her connection from so all it depends on what she wants maybe not necessarily because of marriage or stuff like that being a tight chick for what she gets you know because i saw the video she posted when they went to see olu of a war and people were talking about she is changing her dress and she came out to the bunk it's saying that she has known the man for long or stuff like that maybe that's part of the reason why she's clinging on to him nobody can say because she has not come out to say anything it doesn't necessarily mean because he did not marry her that means the relationship has ended maybe they're still seeing themselves maybe she accepted to be a side chick they have a mutual understanding that one is pending definitely by and large something will happen and she might want to say one or two things so let's keep watching as the event unfolds or there is another alternative maybe they had an agreement that she will be the side chick where he can go ahead and marry as much women as he wants because mc olomo is a muslim to start with so nobody knows the main story if you have a relationship the best thing is for you not to showcase it on social media don't even talk about it you leave it when it materializes it when it comes to fruition then you can share with people mc olomo is a muslim and he has wives you don't even know what the wives are doing behind closed doors and as much as as a muslim he's entitled to marry so many wives you don't know what they're doing because it's the relationship they know that's the one they will attack the ones they don't know they will not do anything about it so at the end of the day this person secretly married to <laughs> this man is well known in lagos is the chairman of national union of road transport workers that means if actually he wants people to attend the wedding the hall will be full to the brim and there will be spillover you know the look of things you see that the wedding is like a secret wedding so people are now dragging a he asking where was she when the man tied the knot why did the man leave her and blah 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 the bottom line is that she cannot force herself on the man then even the son the man's son they also started dragging the man's son because when a he was flaunting those pictures those their videos of their public display activities the boy was somewhere hailing her saying that uh, see my father's wife the best woman blah 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 so now and that also dragging the boy on social media asking him what of the father's wife that he came to announce to them on social media so people are talking not necessarily because they don't like a he or they hate her or that they don't want the relationship to work in as much as they have already said that how can a beautiful girl like her marry a tout that's her choice a he had two failed marriages so it's not as if this is the first time she's in a relationship she has always been in a relationship and it has three children so she knows the reason why she made it public she knows what she was going into and for her keeping quiet because ordinarily a he likes to debunk stories probably die in agreement or he told her about it and she decided not to interfere since she wants to be a side chick she can continue with her being the side chick then the man moves on with the with the lady so based on this i think uh, people shouldn't bash a he that much and the lesson is that people should tend to hide their relationship when you know that if it's a relationship you value try to hide it no matter what people are talking about you don't need to debunk anything you don't need to answer anybody you don't even need to tell anybody anything because as far as i'm concerned social media is for social interaction people will talk on social media that's what they are there and anything you put out be ready to receive a reaction a comment so if you don't want people to talk you don't put yourself out there you don't come up with any video even when they talk because they've seen it like this a he issue the video went viral where i think two of them allegedly went to turkey eh, he and mc olomo they went to turkey for a vacation or something that was where people started talking about it but people have been talking about it, it wasn't that loud but immediately that video hit the internet i wouldn't know who uploaded the video because it was two of them that went for that vacation so the video must have come out through their friend or through either of them so whoever that uploaded the video must have been their inner circle so if she had not wanted she wouldn't have even commented on that video she wouldn't have reacted she would have just let the sleeping dog lie without even talking about it but since she came out to debunk the story and also continued posting mco luomo showing how they are expressing their love to each other so when this story now hit the internet people must talk she brought the story of mc olomo to her followers she has heavy following on her instagram so for her publishing that kind of video she should expect that people will also talk and people will ask questions 
when moreover when the person you are following who published the pictures of her expressing her love between her and mc olomo when you see the other party mc olomo proposing to another woman getting married to another woman exchanging vows with another woman it's only human that they're asking so i don't see it to be from a bad place i hope she lets everything die quietly so that they make out whatever they want from this story because right now all the internet is buzzing but anyway let me know what you guys think about this people that showcase their love on social media when they're not sure whether the man is going to get married to them or not so let me know what you guys think i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed